Hey what's going on guys, my name is Asian Psycho and today I'm bringing you guys a video that will show you how you can get a permanent M417 SP. Yes you heard me right, you can get a permanent M417 TAU, which is technically what it's called, SP, which is a very good NX rare uh, assault rifle with the one with the scope on it and it's part of the M417 family as its name might suggest. Um, as of the last patch, Nexon has included a system into the Forging Emporium that, uh, in which you can actually get the entire M417 family of assault rifles, theoretically, for permanent, and it's absolutely for free, but it's going to take some grinding and some work to do on your end. Um, there is ways, there are ways to, or actually there's only one way that you can uh, speed up the process, but that's NX related, and this is only assuming that you, you're not using any NX uh, along the way. I will show you how you can, you know, use NX to hasten the process of you getting an M417 SP, but uh, I will say that until then. So, uh, as of the last patch, Nexon has put in into the Emporium, like I said, um, these things called, uh, if I can find them, good jobs, 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 uh, Nemexis Nanotex, if you go into, right, where are they, where are they, where are they, no, the Emporium right here. So, uh, these are what the uh, Nanotex look like, they look like these net thingies, so as you can see, I have a lot of them. <laughs> over a thousand. So, um, the way you can get these is by going to the Wheel of Fate, and as you can see, on the Wheel of Fate, you see these things that, you know, the nanotechs, and uh, basically you have to spin these, spin the wheels multiple times, whatever, and you need to get these. So, first of all, assuming you do have a stash of silver coins um, somewhere in your inventory, it'll show you right here um, how many you have. Assuming that you do have a few, just roll the wheel until you get a hundred. Then, after you get a hundred, you go to your jobs menu and go to your scavenger tab. Now, there are two jobs that are related to the Nautex. One is the starter, the start to you getting the M417 SP. So that is by getting a hundred nanotechs, and it will automatically give you a free M417 TAU. Now the TAU doesn't really mean anything; it's just the exact same as the original M417 GP assault rifle. Um, but they're giving you, give, Nexon is giving you, giving this to you for perm. And honestly, it's not that hard to get. Just get like a 70 and a 30, and boom, you're done. So. And Nexon's basically giving a free GP assault rifle this way, and it takes minimal effort on your part. Just play a few games, do the roulette a couple times, and assuming you have a little bit of luck, boom, there you go. So, now that you've already gotten this, um, what you need to do is you need to go um, over to your upgrades job, and you need to click on this. Uh, click this and accept. Uh, right now, for some reason, I think there's a bug where... Uh, I'll, actually, I'll explain that later. So, assuming you do you do have your hands on the M417 TAU assault rifle, uh, go to the jobs tab and click on accept on this job. And once you accept this job, just do what it says: get 150 kills with the M417 TAU, um, and just after you've done it, just click accept, and you will get your free M417 TAU CQB. It's a permanent, you know, GP rare assault rifle that most people probably won't be able to get, but this is an easy way to do so. Um, this is good. This is the main reason why you're going to be seeing a lot of people running around with M417s and M417 variants uh, throughout this next week because of this job, because people want that M417 SB. It's pretty good. So once you get this, uh, you then go over to here and you click on, you accept this job. The reason why I can't accept this is because, as you guys can probably tell, I already have that. Uh, where is it? Right here. I already have that for perm. The M417 TAU comp, I already did the job for it. So, here though, it's a little bit more difficult. You need to use the M417 TAU CQP and you need to get 250 kills with this. So, it's going to get, it's going to take you a little bit longer. After that, what you need to do is then you need to go to an Emporium, go to Forge, and click on Select the Recipe. And as you can see here, there are two types of ways that you can forge the M417 CQB or TAU CQB into the M417 TAU SB. And one way, the first way, is the no NX way, and you just basically have the, the TAU combat and you put on these what are called nanotech dossiers, and you have to have four of them. Now, this is going to take a long time. Well, depending on how well you do, but it's going to take a pretty long time. And the reason for that is because if you go over to your jobs and go to the savage jobs, as you can see here, the collect uh, na the second job for re regarding nanotechs or a scavenger job anyway, it will give you the nanotech dossiers. But check out how many it takes you. 
2500 and compare that to the first one they only you only need 100 for and boom you have a free assault rifle this thing you need like 25 times that so the way you get a lot of these is go to your wheel of fate thing right here and assuming you do have a lot of silver coins uh stashed up somewhere um what you want to do is uh from what i from my experience of using this and you know grinding out these nanotech thingies um what you want to do is click on use but don't actually use them yet or actually you don't even need to click on use uh, if you do have silver coins all you need to do is click uh roulette shuffle now these things do are, are fortunately uh, can be bought with gp and all you need to do is just keep buying these things just one at a time because if you buy them by bulk it's not going to it, it, the price won't change and you're, you're not going to get discount for anything you click uh, keep shuffling the roulette assuming you do have a fair bit of gp uh at hand keep shuffling the roulette until you get something like this where a good chunk of the roulette is filled with these um with the nanotechs and what that will do is when whenever you, you whenever you buy the shuffle thing and you use it what it'll do is if you get a good one that you like and that you know that you have a very high chance of getting a uh, nanotech over and over um just keep using it just keep you uh, just keep putting in silver coins and just keep rolling it because uh, normally, if you don't use the shuffle and you keep using silver coins, the roulette will uh, flip every single time. However, if you do use a shuffle uh, roulette thingy, um, once you use a silver coin, it'll stay. The roulette will stay the same, and then it'll stay the same for maybe like five or six times. I think, in my experience, it was like around like five around there. So you can keep getting um, nanotechs over and over and over if you use this method. It's kind of like abusing the system, so to speak. But whatever, these things. It, the dossiers, you need a lot, so whatever shortcut you can take, you know, is perfectly acceptable. These things don't come by easy. So, just keep doing that over and over. Keep buying the shuffle relays, or relay shuffles as they're called. I, I know some of you guys are probably getting angry for, at me for saying it wrong, but just keep buying the relay shuffles over and over until you get relays that you like, uh, that you can see a lot of these things. Typically, the most amount of... Uh, uh, nanotech so you can get at one time is 200 uh, in my experience I've seen 200 before and there might be more but I'm, I'm pretty sure 200 is the max and I think like 30 or no actually 20 is the minimum so uh, just keep rolling it until you get a decent amount and once you do have around like you know 2500 or so or however many ups, however absurd that number is at 2500 just accept it and get the nanotech dossiers rinse and repeat do it over until you get four of them as you guys can see here, just get four of them, and boom, you've got your M470 TAU SP. Now, the shortcut that I mentioned earlier is in the Type B, where you only need two of them, but however, it requires the Advanced Refiner. And if you go to the shop and check under the New tab, voila, voila, this Nexon is selling the Advanced Refiner for 5K and X. And this basically halves the amount of work that you need to do in order to obtain the free M417 SP. I, it's kind of like a... I don't know. Nexon, I've heard that Nexon did it intend for them to do this way, but it's fucking Nexon. We all know they like to make money off this game. So, this this method I'm fine with because hey, you know, getting the dossiers is a is a really big bitch it's a pain in the ass so for them to offer a shortcut if you just pay a little bit of money is honestly a little bit is fine by me and hey you're getting a free m 417 sb out of this so if you pay this is like paying 5k and a little bit of your time to you know maybe like say a few days of worth of really good uh, really heavy grinding to get um dossiers and whatever and boom you've got your you got your m 470 sb there's i don't think there's anything wrong with that i mean some people might be a little bit bitter that hey oh you guys are you know hasting the process and you're not doing all the work but come on now some people don't have the time for that so and you, you can't really blame them so Anyways, that's why it's there. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, what the hell is this? Uh, that's why it exists. So just keep doing that over and over, and you will get your uh, M417 SB perm. Um, it just, it's just titled the TAU. Um, funnily enough, because as you guys probably already know, uh, I actually do already do have the M4 SP for perm. I can actually have two of these, so it'd be great to see it to have for me to run around with two of these in my hands and just. You know, go around killing people. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. One last thing that I would like to mention is that I think there's a bug. I'm not really too sure what's going on, but as you guys can see, I already have the. Uh, let me just go to my Soul Rival tab. Uh, I already have the M417 TAU combat. I spent a, a 
the last two hours of uh, just grinding out to get the all those nanotech parts and the M4 and get the M417 TAU combat so I can get ready to forge this into the uh, what is it called the M417 uh, TAU SP. However, after I acquired another M417 TAU because theoretically speaking, you are able to get every single variant of the M417 family for permanent. Uh, the M417, the M417 CKB, the M417 Combat, and the M417 SB. Theoretically speaking, through this system that Nexon implemented, you should be able to get all of them. However, it doesn't really seem like uh, you can do that because for some reason even though I did get the uh, another M417 TAU in order to start again to get you know another set um it seems like you can't really you can't really do it again it's I think the reason for this is because uh, Nexon wants you to go through the entire process at least once so that I'm pretty sure or actually I can't really say for sure but uh, my guess is that once you upgrade the M417 TAU combat into the M417 SB TAU or TAU SB, um, then you can start on this uh, with this job again. Uh, but I'm not really, I'm not, I don't really understand why they just don't let you accept this right away, you know. So I don't know. It's I don't know if this is a glitch. I don't know if this is a bug. But I just thought that I'd let you guys know because I'm already on the second part of going through this entire process again. It's just that I just can't do it because I don't know I don't know why next on this doesn't want me uh, doesn't want me to I guess so anyways I hope this video has helped you guys out uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this process because I know I did speak a little bit fast and it's it's late at night so I can't really have my voice too high up and um, if you guys have any questions uh, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to try to answer all of them and hope you guys enjoy playing combat arms and grinding out these parts to get the M417 SP because that's a really good gun and it's worth your time uh, grinding out for because essentially this means that you can get it free so hey next on thanks a lot so thanks for watching guys and hope this video helped and we'll see you guys later